I'm not that concerned about that the joyride for in terms of his own health. If he really was stable today, which by all accounts he was, his oxygen levels were okay, then the fact that he's out and about for 10 minutes is not a big deal. What I am concerned about is these that he sits in a hermetically sealed uh, uh, a secret service van, uh, hermetically sealed in case it's attacked with with uh, weapons from the outside, along with, I think, eight or nine Secret Service agents while he's actively infectious. And the Secret Service agents take a vow to protect him, but they don't take a vow to be protected from him. And I think he's putting them at, at absolutely unnecessary risk. Mm. And just to pick up on the direction that Steve was taking you in, I mean, obviously you mentioned the issue of lung imaging. I, I wonder if we could just talk a bit more about that from the medical side. Um, Given what you've said about the cocktail of drugs that's being given at this stage, can you tell us any more about what the specific concern is about the condition of the lung? Well, unfortunately, we don't know. The uh, president's physician uh, in his report this morning gave a very odd answer about his lungs. He mentioned that the president had a CAT scan and that it showed uh, what would have been expected uh, which, of course, makes no sense at all. It either was normal uh, or it was abnormal. If it was abnormal, it would have been good to learn what it showed. I can only interpret that to mean that uh, what one would have expected if it, he had a moderately severe case of COVID, which would have been evidence of inflammation and pneumonia in the lungs. And if that's true, I mean, when you have COVID, you may be asymptomatic. He's not. You may have a mild case where you only have a fever and some muscle aches. Uh, he's not. Uh, you may then have the COVID involving your lungs, and it appears clear that that's what he has. And once you're in that category, uh, and you're sick enough to be hospitalized, and you're sick enough to require oxygen, you're at pretty high risk. The mortality rate for that group is at least one in five. And so, uh, and of course, you're all familiar with that from uh, from uh, Boris Johnson. And so, uh, as you saw with Boris Johnson, that's one in five. Most people do okay, and the chances are the president will do fine. But there is a uh, a, a real chance uh, once it's in the lungs that it will be okay for a few days and then flare and get worse. And that's why it's so important that he be very closely monitored. There's no new medicines he needs to get. He's already on all of the medicines that he uh, he can get really for this. But he's not out of the woods, and it's going to be very important to monitor for deterioration for at least five to seven days.